Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on a brush set. It's an oval brush set and my boyfriend actually picked this up for me. These are the Illuminate Beauty Essentials and they come in a box that looks like this. And you get 14. The box comes with a, um, a card telling you which brush, what you can use with what you can do with each brush and it also comes with a little um, brush aid to clean your brushes on and these brushes actually have a um, a warrant like a lifetime warranty so if anything happens to these brushes you can send it back and they'll fix it for you or you'll get a new one I use all four of these which they are extremely dirty now and then I used I believe he paid $40 for this brush set um, and it also comes with these three these three these three that I did not use so because I feel like this one's too big but um, to go into detail about the brushes they are all really soft uh, I'm not sure what material they are made out of but um, I do like them because it says that they're cruelty free and um, they're really dense brushes so there's a lot of hair. It's a lot of hair and they, they are plastic but they're not as bendable as like the Walmart ones. I believe they're the Prism ones. I'm not sure but they're not as bendable as those yet they are bendable though. Now to be honest I... Um, I had a little bit of trouble blending out the eyeshadows with these brushes, with these two small brushes, because if you actually look at them from sideways, one is, um, flat and the other one's going outward a little bit, but I tried my best to use them, like, to see if I could create a whole look with just these brushes, and to be honest, that you cannot, because... You need to like blend out to make, to make it more like seamless. And with these brushes, I feel like these were a little bit, a little rough on the eye, especially this one, because when you're trying to blend something out, it, it feels a little scratchy. Like the bigger ones for the contour and the creams and stuff, those are a lot softer on your face and you don't really want something that rough around your eye area. I would say that my favorite brushes that I would probably continuously use would be 
this one for my concealer like it was easy to do my little triangle but uh, I'm still gonna be using either this or my beauty blender to like blend it out because it will leave streaks all these brushes if you're using cream they're gonna leave streaks so you have to go back over it with a beauty blender or like a regular foundation brush or something I use this brush for my foundation which the size for me is perfect because I don't like a really big brush and compared to the brush that is I believe for your foundation I'm not putting a brush that big all over my face because I need to like get in right in here and stuff so I'm not putting this right there another one of my favorites would probably be that sponge the sponge this one for my contour but you have to be really careful with it because like if you if you go like directly into a product that especially a really powdery one you're gonna have like a lot of fallout come out because this is my contour color and so I had just went in like I dabbed it a little bit and then I had went straight in and it was like a dark line and I had a little bit of trouble blending it out but um, these brushes it is possible to over blend so you just want to make sure that you're not over blending also and just keep that in mind another one of my favorites would probably be this one because I did I used it for my um, eyeliner today I didn't do like a wing but what I had used was the blackout shade in the naked palette what is this the, the naked two one of those I used the blackout shade and I just went across my my lash line to make it darker so that I could apply my lashes and it was really easy to do like but I would not do my regular gel eyeliner with this because like my wing it has to be more sharp than what this can use so I'm still um, going to be using my other brush set like my my normal brushes and you'll probably see in my clips like in the clips that I had to use a few brushes to like fix stuff but I feel like this is a good splurge item like you don't need it but if you want to have it for a few brushes that make your life a little bit more easier in some aspects also another thing that I don't like about them is when you're trying to like I'll use my concealer brush for instant um, when you're trying to go like certain places I feel like the way that it's the like the handle and the way you're supposed to hold it kind of is awkward and you have to like either switch it up to like blend it out or something or like move your hand in a weird way so that's like another little uh, thing that I don't really like about it I do like the way it um, applied my highlight though which one? Oh yeah I use this brush for my highlight I do not recommend applying your blush with these brushes because it's not, I don't know the word for it. it's not concentrated but it, it'll make it like like you look like a clown because you it'll just I don't know um, I, I just use my regular brush for my my regular blush brush because it's like it disperses it evenly and it like in the clip how my contour is just like boom right there like a fucking line this this will do that for if you want that look then go ahead but for me I need it like more evenly like how you can see that is just kind of blended together and stuff now I kind of if these are the only brushes that you own for eyeshadows like they only come with two I wish they would have came with a little bit more smaller ones but for eyeshadow they're a little rough on the eye but I feel like if you work with it long enough you can actually get I mean a pretty good blend and then just go over it with a regular brush then it'll look pretty nice but um yeah it looks okay but like I said, it's a little difficult and then trying to get like your inner corners. It, I mean, it looks like it would be pretty easy to just like boom, boom, boom. But no, you have to like see where you're going to get your shadow placement. And you can't really understand until you try the brushes for yourself. So I'm just here to give my review. Overall, out of 10, I would probably give the brushes like a 7 to be honest because they're 
it claims that they're multi-purpose but i still feel like you'll need your other old brush set to go in the place of what these brushes can't do if you want details on my makeup or what i'm wearing then please comment down below because this is super cute it's like lingerie yeah but that's pretty much all i have to say about these brushes i hope that you guys like this review and if you want more reviews like this please leave a comment down below like this video and don't forget to subscribe all my information on these brushes will be in the link down below and all my information of where you can follow me on social media will be down below and i believe my boyfriend bought these off of amazon and if you use, um, if you buy them through Ebates on Amazon and you use my link down below, you will get $10 just for signing up. And then you will get whatever cash back that you purchase these brushes with. Like I said, I think they're 40 But anyways, thank you all for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.